sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. We are celebrating today the Mass of Tuesday in the twelfth Sunday or twelfth week in the ordinary, in the thirteenth week in the ordinary time of the church. In this Mass today, God reminds us of the fact that He is omnipotent, omniscience, and the omnipresent that even when it seems God is silent or asleep, that he is fully active and aware of whatever happened in our situations. He is only expecting us to call on him, to tap on the anointing which is available for us, so that the situation will be transformed into a miracle. Let us ask God for the grace to always run to God in moments of difficulty with confidence and faith, with total trust that He is going to solve our problems. And as we come to Him, He will surely grant us our hard desires through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The following booked this Mass today in a very special way. Mrs. Mbakwe Areama asking for restoration of love and unity in her marriage and for other intentions. Today, we have our sister, Chedema Okembechi. She is marking her birthday today. We pray that God may bless her with greater future, fruitful future, a more successful future through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Yesterday, because of want of time, because it was a solemnity, we did not call the mass intentions one by one. 
although I indicated and prayed over the intentions and over the math book here, but then in doing that, we omitted to mention the birthday of one of us in this online community, in the person of Nkeme Jumaka, Nkeme Jumaka Olivia Ugu Ebulem, who marked her birthday on the 29th of June 2020. We pray for Olivia in this Mass that although we did not mention her name yesterday, that God may grant her fruitful future, excellent future, and fulfilled future, that all her hard desires will be granted her in this life and the eternal life and the life to come through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There are people who booked Novena Mass in the month of June. We still have their Masses running. Some of these masses are going to end on the 30th of June. And they include uh, Sister Frances Ogochuku Duense, Sispark Experiential Solution Abumchuku Okoye, Miss Precious Ekezibo, Mr. Oke Onyeyili, Lawrence Chuku. Miss Ifunanya Chuku, Reverend Sister Am Machine, Mr. Obiora, Ugochi Mado, Mr. Lawrence James, Oyenso Ifoma, Nana Kinsley Obona, Mr. Ukeria Chuku Bokim, Mrs. Maureen Ambu, Donatus Ehen, Reverend Sister Emanuela for the family, and Mary Ann Abone, Rose Ann Eloho Edada, Mrs. Njoko, we continue to pray for their intentions in this Mass, Mrs. Fidelia Aderemi, Mrs. Vivian, Mr. Anthony Nwafo, Obina Eze Amama Mrs. Amaka Okafo for the intention of Mr. Emmanuel Obef the Eze Chiwe Eze Chi Antonia Chedima Mrs. Francisca Ejoma Salau Miss Tochuku, we continue to pray for the intentions of Mrs. Patricia Ogonna Osita Okoli. We ask God to grant the intentions of Chiwe Louisa Kenechuku in this Mass. We pray for the intentions of Mr. and Mrs. Obiora Mba in this Mass. These are people whose Masses booked for the month of June they stay on. We are also remembering a very special way the following people who have booked Mass for the month of July. We are not going to call all of them, but tomorrow we will take time to call all of them and call all their intentions. But we shall mention only those who booked Mass yesterday so that they will know that their Masses have been fully re registered in our Mass book. So on the 29th of June 2020, the following booked Mass for the month of July. Neka Ike Okeke Geraldine Anonymous who is praying for divine and permanent healing upon Onyinye Ozo Wankwa Mrs. Maria Okwara booked mass for the month of July. Michael Ifani Brown booked mass for the month of July. The family of Adolphus and Caroline Ozude booked mass for 40 days, running from first from today, um, that is 29th of July, June to 7th of August. Chinonyelum Odionye booked mass for the month of July. Igwe Fidelia Ngozi booked mass for the month of July. Amota Lizzie, Mrs. 
bookmark for the month of July. Reverend Sister Emanuela and the family also bookmark for the month of July. And Mrs. Uche Echi also bookmark for the month of July on the 29th of June. These people bookmark. There are others who had booked earlier, but we are going to call all the masses tomorrow when we are going to begin uh, during our Passover prayer into the new month. My dear brothers, sisters, brothers and sisters, we are grateful to God for making it possible for us to be present in this Mass. I want you at this point to own intentions to those of those whom we have mentioned. Our God is a faithful God. He will grant us all our hard desires. Whenever we gather like this, Jesus Christ said this in our midst. Because in Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 and 19, he said, When two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. Whatever they ask my Father in my name, that shall be granted. I don't know what is your intention, child of God, for being awake at this hour to join this midnight mass. It is a special mass. Remember, there is power in corporate prayer. There is power in midnight prayer. According to what we see in Acts of the Apostles chapter 16, when Paul and Silas prayed at midnight, we were told that the angel of God came and opened the prison doors and they threw open the windows of the prison. Let me tell you, child of God, whatever is closing you up, God will throw it open by the power of this midnight. The light of the day will locate you. Mm -hmm. I pray that God will open the window for the blessings of God to see where to penetrate into your life. Because you are joining this mass, type in your attention in the comment box. Don't be a passive follower. Don't be a passive participator. Participatio actuosa means active participation. And that is what Vatican II recommended for every liturgy. Child of God, for you to be actually participating in this mass, you must be active. You must be active. And being active means that when something is said, you type in and respond. So at this hour, type in your prayer request. Let there be something that you are telling God to do for you through this mass we are celebrating today. And even if it is plenty, you cannot type all of them. May I see you typing into the comment box. Lord, my intentions are in this mass. That statement covers it all. God is a faithful God. He will grant us all our hard desires as we call on him. He never fails those who call him with faith and trust. Today we shall see that he is a faithful God. As the disciples called him in the moment of trouble on the high sea, and we were told that he immediately commanded the storm. Child of God, God will command the storm in your life to quench and to end it in this midnight mass today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you know that thing you want him to do, if you know that great storm that is raging in your, in your life and in your family, present it to God at this hour. Our God is a faithful God. He will grant you your heart desires. Ebora mon pambiano logio Chimela camburu yala Ebora mon pambiano logio Chimela camburu yala Ebora mamo yemwa biano logio Chimela camburu yala Ebora Vati piano logio, si me quella camburu yala. Eburum sickness piano logio, si me quella camburu yala. Eburum e weye go piano logio, si me quella camburu yala. Eburum ano e di piano logio, si me quella camburu Eburu spiritual attack e piano logio, ci me quella camburu yala. Eburu marumbu, bia 
worthily for this holy celebration, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. Child of God, according to Proverbs chapter 14 verse 34, righteousness exhausts a nation, but sin is a reproach. It is very important that we make this act of penitence, out of contrition. Let us at this hour confess our sins before God. The word of God said, on account of sin, the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the Son of Man came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. That's why the Bible said in John's Gospel chapter 8, verse 36, that if the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. And the Bible promised us that God is ever ready to welcome us. Remember what happened in the life of the prodigal son in Luke's Gospel chapter 15 from verse 17. When he came back to his senses and decided to return to the Father, he was celebrated and welcomed. I remember in 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, the Bible said, If my people who are called by my name should turn from their evil way and seek my face, I will forgive their sins, I will pardon their offenses, I will bless them, and I will restore their land. It is a very wonderful opportunity you have now, child of God, to drop that your sin, to pour it out before God and say, I relinquish them, I drop them, I renounce them because I want to take up a new life. And Jesus Christ will locate you with the brain, the wind of new life, wind of grace, the grace of holiness. Child of God, let us ask him for pardon and mercy so that we can be prepared and made worthy to participate in this Holy Mass.
Ebe woro no be makamo Ihe ra ga ge me mozo jizo Ebe woro no be makamo Ihe ra ga ge me mozo Ebe woro no be makamo Ihe ra ga ge me mozo Ebe woro no be makamo Ihe ra ga ge me mozo I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. I therefore ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And let the church say, a thunderous Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos. Listen, sons of Israel, to this oracle the Lord speaks against you. Against the whole family I brought out of the land of Egypt. You alone of all the families of earth have I acknowledged. Therefore, it is for all your sins that I mean to punish you. Do two men take the road together, if they have not planned to do so? Does the lion roar in the jungle, if no prey has been found? Does the young lion growl in his lyre, if he has captured nothing? Does the bird fall to the ground, if no trap has been set? Does the snare spring up from the ground, if nothing has been cut? Does the trumpet sound in the city without the populace becoming alarmed? Does misfortune come to a city 
if the Lord has not sent it. No more does the Lord do anything without revealing his plans to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who can help feeling afraid? The Lord speaks, who can refuse to prophesy? I overthrew you as God, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a brand snatched from the blaze, and yet you never came back to me. It is the Lord who speaks. This, therefore, Israel, is what I plan to do to you. And because I am going to do this to you, Israel, prepare to meet your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. 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 You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. Lead me, me, Lord, in your justice. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. (coughs) Deceitful and bloodthirsty man, the Lord detests. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8, from verse 23 to 27. Jesus got up, Jesus got into the boat, followed by his disciples. Without warning, A storm broke over the lake, so violent that the waves were breaking right over the boat. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him up, saying, Save us, Lord. We are going down. And he said to them, Why are you so frightened, you men of little faith? And with that, he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and all was calm again. The men were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man, Is this even the winds and the sea bear him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Amen. He stood up 
and rebuked the winds and the sea, and all was calm again. Can somebody join me in singing this song? He is able, abundantly able, to deliver and to save. My Lord is able, abundantly able. To deliver those who trust in him. Hallelujah. He is able. Abundantly able. To deliver. And to save. The Lord is able. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in Him. One more time, He is able. Yes, abundantly able. Jesus is to deliver. Yes, Lord, and to save. I hear you. Lord is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in Him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything is possible for those who trust in Him. Jesus Christ is oftentimes seems to be silent in most of the situations in our lives, but it doesn't mean that he is not aware of what is happening. Sometimes when he is like that, he is expecting us to do what? To tap him with trust, to tap him with faith, and call on him so that he can do what? Respond. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is time for you to recognize that you need to wake up the sleeping giant in your life. And if you must wake up the sleeping giant in your life, you must do that with faith and the trust, just like the disciples did. They were in the boat, we were told, in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 8, from verse 23 to 27. And the, a mighty violent storm came against the boat. To the extent that the boat was about to capsize, we were told that when fear gripped the disciples, they had nowhere to run to, but with confidence, they went straight to the master to tap him who was, even in the midst of that storm, even in the midst of the boat being thrown up and down, snoring and sleeping very deeply. They tapped him and Jesus Christ immediately got up and do what and commanded the storm and the sea and they obeyed and everywhere became calm. Child of God, let me tell you, when we are in difficult challenges sometimes, it seems as if God is totally in disarray. But God is with us, but he wants to, to test our faith. He wants to see if we will come to him. Assuming the disciples started shouting, where are the sellers? Where are the sellers? Where are the sellers? Come and save us. So they knew Jesus was in their midst. Although Jesus was not a pronounced seller, they knew he has power to command the heaven and earth, and they will obey. They went to him straight, and Jesus Christ manifested that he's God, even if they called him. Let me tell you, child of God, when things are very difficult, when things are very, very, when the situation gets so terrible that we don't know where to run to, to run to Jesus Christ is the only solution. Remember, when it became very urgent and very horrible in the life of that young woman called Hannah in the, in the book of Facebook of Samuel, chapter 1 and 2, where we are told that Hannah has no option than to provoke the presence of God in the temple for her to conceive Samuel. Let me tell you, child of God, when things are difficult, when things seem to be unsurmountable in our lives, when difficulty seem to be mounting on top of another, 
we have no other way to go than to go to Jesus. Jesus is a sleeping giant in our lives, ever present with us, ready to answer whenever we call on him. The problem many of us have is that when we have problems, instead of running to Jesus Christ, we begin to look for solution where there is no solution. We begin to go to native doctors. Some of us even join cultism, seeking for solution to our problem. Some of us even enter into some ritual practices which will not give us any headway. Let me tell you, God is only solution. Jesus Christ is the only way. The Bible said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way. He is the only authentic solution to our problem. That is the implication of the truth. He is only the person who will save us. That is why he said in John's Gospel chapter 10 verse 10 b, the devil came to kill in, in verse 10a, to steal and to destroy. But in 10 b, he said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. If you read the word of God of First John, chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible said, Oh, those who sin belong to Satan. But Jesus Christ came that he may undo the work of Satan. Child of God, I'm praying for you that because you are awake at this hour of the day, because you are under the sound of my voice at this hour, Jesus Christ will arise. He will stand up and he will calm the storm in your life. Jesus will quench the fire burning in your marriage. Jesus will quench the fire burning in your office. Anywhere there is a storm in your life, anywhere there is a fire burning in your life, anywhere the storm is throwing you up and down, I want you to have confidence in the master whom you are serving. You will never die because of your family problem. Even if you have not paid house rent, I decree that house rent will never kill you. Uh, there will be a favor. You are going to settle it in Jesus' name. Amen. That family problem that is making you not to sleep well again. That family problem that is generating, in, generating BP in you. Child of God, listen to me. Just take it to Jesus Christ. Just wake up the sleeping giant in your life. Remember, every one of us is, is having God in us. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Child of God, provoke the Spirit of God that is in you. Enter into prayer. Midnight Mass is the solution. Let me tell you, when you do extraordinary things, God will remember you in an extraordinary way. And I decree that extraordinary divine visitation be your portion today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let Jesus Christ speak to your problem. Let Jesus Christ speak to your difficulty. May he speak to that situation in your life that is trying to break you up. Let me tell you, no problem in this life is worth dying for. You can only die for Jesus Christ because he died for you. If you die for any problem, I tell you, you are a fool. Because of that your problems, I decree let Jesus Christ remember you today so that that calm, that storm in your life will be calmed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for your children who are under the sound of my voice this night as you stood up in the Boat and calm the storm, and they calm the storm, and the storm and the sea obey the you, and you save the life of your disciples. Behold, all those you have given me as your priest, as your prophet, and as a king, sharing the ministerial priest of priesthood of Christ. I pray, O oh Lord, that you may not allow any one of them under the sound of my voice to go astray. You may not allow any one of them to be drowned in the water of the the problems of this life. May you save all of them, O oh Lord, because they have believed in the prophet you raised in their midst, in the person of Father Chukudio Mimi. I want to get my priestly anointing, praying, O oh Lord, that you may grant them all their heart desires, and their trust in you, and are killing to this midnight mass. In the mighty name of J, give me J. In yeah. the mighty name of E, give me E. In mm. the mighty name of S, Yes. In the mighty name of you, you. In the mighty name of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. I pray that the word of God we have heard this night may bring us consolation. May make a way for us where there is no way. And be a source of all random common favor from God in our lives and in our families. 
May God bless this word in our hearts, therefore, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? I, I will raise the cup of salvation, I will call on God's name. I trust the living when I say, I am so afflicted, and when I say in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I? How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? I will. I will of salvation I will call on God's name. My vows to the Lord I will put before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord, sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Amen. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these days we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For well, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Everybody say, My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our holy spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father in heaven, Our Father in heaven, Hallow be thy name. Hallow be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth as in heaven. On earth as in heaven. Give us. Temptation, but deliver us. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously, Grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Nema kage ezi bo wanem Nema ka nema kudogi ezi bo wanem Nema ka nema kage ezi bo wanem Nema kage akudogi ezi bo wanem those who are following this mass online, type in, in the comment box, peace be with you. Wish this peace, the type of peace and tranquility that Jesus Christ had on the boat amidst the storm. Wish this peace to our fellow brothers and sisters who are participating in this mass. I am praying for such peace in your family. The storm must get calm today. Amen. The fire must be quenched today. Amen. You must have peace. Peace of soul. Peace of body. Peace of mind. Peace in everything. Mm -hmm. Let us wish that peace to each other. Type it in in the comment box. To everyone who is your colleague online and those who are here with us. I pray that peace of Christ shall be with you and abide with you forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Christ is my rock, my refuge, my stronghold, firm as the tree's root that clutches the Lord. He who has faith, built without worry, not like the man who builds upon sand, I set my heart.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be of the one and one. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be of the one O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment that. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Jesus, I love you. All I have is yours. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. In communion with our brothers and sisters who joined this Mass online, may we say the art of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my, my Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally now. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself to you. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Those following online, do not forget to write into the comment box, Lord Jesus, come at least spiritually into my heart and never permit me to be separated from you. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. This is our faith. This is our prayer. This is our hope as we participate in this Mass online through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord. We pray so that bound in you in lasting charity we may be a fruit that lasts forever. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to, to Mary. Mary. I want to use the opportunity to thank every one of you for your active participation in this Mass. I continue to say that it shall be well with all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. This Tuesday will be a Tuesday filled with blessings and favor for you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Those who follow this Mass online, remember to share the Mass. Share it immediately before you turn off your data or before you go to bed. Share the Mass to your Facebook uh, uh, new as a new feed on your Facebook wall so that your friends will also participate in the blessings of this Mass as they wake up from their dogmatic slumber through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I pray that by this Mass you are sharing, you wake somebody up from, wake a sleeping giant from slumber in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So try and share it and be an evangelizer by sharing. And God will grant to all your heart desires. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Those of us who, are, who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I plead with you, go to Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. Search for it on YouTube and subscribe. Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. If you cannot search for it, you can just scroll back on my previous post on my Facebook wall. You will see the post that is coming from YouTube. When you open it, you will see a red subscribe. You just tap it. You have done it. And then a bell will come out. You tap the bell. The essence of tapping or hitting the bell is so that when we post anything, you will get the notification. Try and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and God will bless you for doing that. Amen and amen. Amen. Today is the last day for booking mass for the month of July. Those who are booking um, anything from first to second, you know that it can no longer be for the whole month because we have already entered the month. So tomorrow night is going to be first of July, and we are beginning by eleven p.m. with adoration, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. So from that adoration, as we end adoration, we enter into the Mass. Last month we did the same thing, but uh, network was very bad that day. So uh, we couldn't, uh, the adoration section was not even feature, did not even feature at all in the streaming, as I came to realize later. But this time around we have a better network. So by 11 p.m. tomorrow, join us in adoration, in praising God and adoring God. And then after, by 12, we shall now commence the Mass for new month, as we cross over into the month of July. Child of God, if you need to key in to all month mass booking for this uh, uh, July, try and do that within the within this day, so that God will continue to bless you and manifest His presence in your life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, I told you, July is my month, and I believe so much in the miracles of July, and that's why I'm telling you that in this month of July unprecedented favor, unprecedented miracle, unprecedented testimony will locate somebody. I want you to believe what I am saying because I am not speaking of myself, but I speak in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that July will be for you a month of unprecedented favor. That's why I'm saying you should key into the prayers of July. July is my month of birthday. The month Farajukudomi was born. 16th of July, my birthday. I pray that God will, in the month of July, give me testimonies in your life, favors in your life, Amen. miracles in your life, Amen. as my birthday present in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, there are so many people who will receive fruit of the womb in this month of July. Amen. God will use it to present and make me, to, to give me a birthday present. Amen. I don't know who it is. But I want you to have faith that you are the one. Long-lasting barrenness will end in the month of July. Long-lasting poverty will end in the month of July. Long-lasting setback will end in the month of July. Amen. I don't know the challenge you are meeting. The storm in your life. July will end it in Jesus' name. Amen. So make sure you keep into the prayer. Even if you are not able to book the Mass, make sure in the month of July that you did not miss midnight Mass even for one day. Child of God, challenge my God and see what the God of Christ can do in your life. Remember, I am not just talking of myself, but I talk of the one who chose me. Despite of my worthiness, despite 
my unqualification. Unqualification. Because when I was ordained a priest in the Catholic Church, having one hand was an impediment. But God canceled the impediment for my sake. And made me the first priest to be ordained with one hand. Are you? Let me tell you, oh, I can't do anything. I'm going to me. Mm -hmm. He will use you to begin a miracle that has never happened in your family. Amen. Believe me, and so shall it be in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I wish you a wonderful Tuesday. And I pray that as we cross over into the month of July, you are crossing over to take over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. Remember to do me a favor. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chukudio Mimi Adoration TV. And God will bless you for doing that. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. CHB127. All of my life, I will praise the living God. My heart full of joy, I will bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, of oh my soul, I never forget His gift. All of my life, I will praise the living God. My heart full of joy. I will bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. He pardons all our sins. All of my life, I will praise the living God. My heart full of joy. I will praise his holy name. Amen.